Best Irish music on irishradio.org with Jerry Byrne. Irish Radio it is. Now, uh, my guest online is, uh, alas, she's a mum of two uh, lovely children. She comes from uh, uh, Kilcommon in County Tipperary. Always been uh, steeped in a uh, great love of music. And, of course, uh, Kilcommon was the home of uh, a huge, huge music festival that uh, used to take place. Uh, she's recorded her debut single. It's uh, a recording of the Stephen Hamilton composition called Crazy, Crazy Baby. I've been playing it on the programme. I'm delighted to say hello to uh, Molly. Molly, how are you? Great to have you along. Molly O'Connell. Hello, Jerry. I'm absolutely going to say just thank you so much to have me on and to your listeners. Hello to everybody that's listening in. A real pleasure. Molly, listen, you, you, you come from uh, uh, that little uh, uh, that little village of Kilcommon in County Tipperary, which uh, had some, is sort of steeped in, in music and memories for many years. It is, Jerry. Jerry, we were so blessed to be reared in such a musical village. Um, we had a festival back, I think it started like in about the 90s, maybe the late 80s. And we had country bands in like our lovely Louise Morrissey from Tipperary. She used to be there and Jimmy Buckley came up to recently just before COVID. And we had the Wolf Tones, we had Aslan, Bog the Donkey and the Paddies, which are from Thorless, a neighbouring place, um, which were amazing, huge bands to have in such a small area. And it used to be packed every night, like 200 plus. So it was great to have all them at our door. Indeed, indeed so. And uh, you, you've, uh, listen, you, you've, you've always sort of sang. You've been singing from your, I think you were something like six years old. Yes, Jerry, I have. I have. I was so blessed. My dad, who is now um, passed, he um, was in a band called the Mellow Tones. Wit, um, would you believe his best friend's name in the band was Jerry Byrne? <laughs> the same name as yourself. So um, he played the fiddle. Jerry played the fiddle and he was kind of a, a kind of a slim Whitman. He kind of yodeled as well and played a lovely fiddle. So my dad then would... Um, a sing and he played the button accordion, palo soprano. Um, fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Um, uh, button accordion player. So it's actually his birthday today. So I'm thinking of him today as well. He'd be just delighted to know I'm here talking to you. So yeah, he kind of reared us around. Like he wasn't into kind of pubs as such, unless we were actually going to a gig that he was gigging in. But it was mostly we'd go to other people's houses and we'd sit down and we'd learn songs. I used to sing like Chanos back in the day for scores and flas. So I learned all my songs from the older generation. They used to have like five, six verses long of a lovely story to the song. Um, and that's where I picked up ornamentation and my phrasing and stuff like that so yeah dad used to take us around to his little gigs then and all the little dance halls and that's where we learned all the songs that they used to sing as well so yeah and my mum as well is from a, a musical background as well so she's from the trad side and the singing side too so right. we're every direction every direction you were you were you were steeped yes. in it you had a great apprenticeship i must say with uh you know lear- learning that yeah. uh the, the singing and the you know the the piano style absolutely like i was blessed as well to to know um i don't know do you know nori Nirina and michal sullivan so nori yes. lives down in newport um and she was married to michal who was passed and michal and them um had us on like um a show back in the 90s edmund rice's mass in dublin so like when i was going for my all ireland i was so blessed that nori um took me to one side and she taught me how to do ornamentation and the chanos and the phrasing and pronunciation of words. So I was so blessed to get that little tutor from her and I went on then to win an All-Ireland. So, you know, I'm blessed with the chanos singing. It's it's a style that I hope is still going as strong, um, but not many people have, um, you know, picked it up along the way. So I'm blessed that I have it. Indeed. Indeed. So it's a, it's yes. a, it's yes. a fantastic tradition. Absolutely, absolutely. But the stories, um, Jerry, alone in how they were written back in the years previous, you know, they have lovely storylines to them. So um, I'll try and keep that fire lit as well as the country music as well. Indeed. Now, you've just recently released uh, your debut uh, country song, which is uh, the Stephen Hamilton composition, Crazy, Crazy Baby. Yes, yes. So Stephen and myself would have met back uh, with, with I think it was Jimmy Buckley's on the Costa Crack and the Costa back a good few years ago. And we've been friends ever since. So um, when I went live then on Facebook, um, he had we had just got chatting and he'd written loads of lovely songs. So that's how Crazy Crazy Baby came about. And um, I'm just delighted with it that he's written he's written lovely songs. And that was the one that caught my my ear, as we'll say. And it's going great, Jerry. Yeah, yes. delighted with it. Indeed. So it's a, a top class recording of his obviously a professional uh, studio yeah. recording. 
Yeah, so we went, I actually met Jim McPhee as well. So when I was over with Jimmy Buckley then on the, the crack in the costume, I got to meet Jim as well because they were over yeah. playing um, with him. And uh, Jim then uh, recorded the song. So obviously Stephen knows Jerry, uh, Jim well. So yeah, I went up and went over to Jim and it was as calm. Jerry was the best day I ever have had and I w- didn't want the day to end. It was so calm and I met such lovely people between Stephen and Jim and then I went on to the video with Seamus O'Donnell and Aidan O'Donnell and it was a beautiful day. The weather was just fab and I just didn't want the day to end. So from start to finish, Crazy Crazy Baby was just so much fun. Absolutely superb. Well, you know, well done. It's, it's, it is great when you're, uh, you know, when you're dealing with people of that calibre and uh, that uh, yes. sheer talent. Uh, I mean, I know they're yeah. m- master, you know, Jim is a master musician. Absolutely sure. Jim has played in the best of bands and the same with Stephen. Like they're, they're in it for so many years. So for me to get the, dir- the direction, the guidance, everything from them from day one and even to today, you know, they're so good. They're just a phone call away. They, I can't just thank Stephen so much from the bottom of my heart of where he's brought me even today. And he's, you know, he's just always behind you and willing to help you and put me into the most nicest people that's around me. So I'm so grateful to them all. And as I said, Aidan and Seamus O'Donnell doing the video. I've never done a video, Jerry, in my life. But it was so calm. It was just it was just lovely. It was just like having my brother with me and my dad kind of they made me feel so relaxed. So I highly recommend Everyone I've just spoken about them, they're just lovely. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. And now tell me this, what, are you, what do you do uh, live-wise? Uh, you, 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 you go and perform in various uh, venues as well. Yeah, we do. So basically, like when I, um, say I was barbering a lot at the time, Jerry, I had a business and I was 10 years, I had my own business, self-employed. But in between that, I was singing for like pubs and I was singing for weddings and funerals and things like that. So um I'm still doing that. I love doing the weddings. I know the funerals come in, they can be sad, but I do like giving comfort to the, the family vocally. So I do that. And then also um, the country music is obviously taken off for me now. So um, lots of pubs and clubs and things like that. So that's my next direction. And maybe hopefully getting on a few little appearances as well down the social dancing scene. So that's my next kind of, um, you know, Step forward, hopefully, Jerry. Excellent, excellent. Uh, d- delighted to hear you. Yeah, and you, 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 you're yeah. gradually, you're gradually kind of getting back into the swing as uh, so many others are uh, after the uh, the dreaded COVID period. Yes, that's it. So, like, like a lot of things were cancelled, as you know yourself. Like for me, with brides and things like that, when we were doing them, so that's people that were meant to get married three three years ago are now getting married now. But it's all coming back slowly, slowly. You can see, like, I've gone to see some of the social nights dancing, Michael Collins, and you know, you can gradually see that the crowd's building back up again. So hopefully, it's at well behind us now, Jerry, and lots of crowds will start coming back and dancing and enjoying the good old country music. Exactly, exactly. Finger, fingers crossed on it. it. Won't fingers crossed. It won't happen overnight. And I, I believe you're right. You you also had a, a lovely write up from uh, Daniel O'Donnell in his uh, newspaper column, and uh, you're also appearing at the the Cowboys and Heroes, the big country music event, and uh, taking place uh, later on this year. Yes, yes. So I was so grateful for Daniel to pop. Um, me on the paper when I opened it was actually one of the lads sent it to me one after my my daughter's communion and I was so honoured just to see his name and my and the lovely write up so grateful to Daniel because he's such a pinnacle of the you know the country music so um thank you to him and then yes so um Shauna Mac Stravok is the MC for Cowboys and Heroes so I've been chatting with her and yes I am there next Saturday so there's a competition on I think there's 15 or 20 of us in it and um, from Ireland and England and you get to sing a, a country song so I won't sing it there on Saturday day and I can't wait just to meet I've met so so many people over Facebook and it's great now to put like Katie McFarland and lots of them that's going to be there I'll actually get to meet them I can't wait to see them so that and that alone Jerry is just brilliant to meet up with everybody absolutely absolutely excellent yeah. Molly listen it's, it's been lovely to chat to you I wish you all the best of luck I believe you've got another song coming out within the uh, within the next yes. number of months so uh, looking for looking yes, forward to well, that Definitely going to bring out another single now in the next yeah a couple of weeks or months and uh, hope hopefully they'll keep flowing on and that all your lovely listeners will continue to request it and thank you Jerry for you know coming on this opportunity to speak to you and love your show as well you're doing mighty things for music as well Molly it's all a real real pleasure listen th- thanks thanks very much indeed and listen wish you all the success in the world thank you Jerry thank you so much for having me and all the best mind yourselves.